Some young bucks have been getting bucks as well. The Rays, they pay up Wander Franco last week, and now the Twins locking down their young star, Byron Buxton. The 27-year-old outfielder has agreed to a seven-year extension worth $100 million. This comes per multiple reports. He was set to become a free agent after the 2022 campaign. Buxton, he has been hit by the injury bug often in his career, Jim. What does this vote of confidence mean for his future? Well, first of all, often is an understatement. Mm. I mean, let's look at what, what Buxton has done in his career. Only one time has he played more than 92 games in seven years. He's never hit 20 homers. He's never hit 30 stolen bases. He's never had 500 official at-bats. In fact, in his career, he's had 300 at-bats once. That's it in seven years. So this $100 million is a huge gamble for a guy that doesn't post. That being said, why did the Twins give him this money? Because he has the potential of being an Eric Davis-type talent. He does have the potential of being a 30 homer 40 stolen base kind of player he's never reached that because he can't stay healthy now this contract when you look at it is very interesting because there are significant award bonuses if he finishes top 10 in the mvp that can make this deal significantly more each year so this 100 million is kind of like a base in this deal if he can stay healthy and live up to the potential something we haven't seen in the first seven years. Twins are hoping the next seven years he's going to be healthy. But boy, this is going to Vegas and rolling the dice and hoping you get a pair of ones. $100 million base salary. It's good work if you can find it out here in the big leagues right now, JB. Uh, in terms of the team side of this Buxton deal, yes, it is a vote of confidence, but it's a Twins team that vastly underperformed a year ago to their expectations as well. How much pressure does this put on the team at this point? Well, the team's got to fix their pitching, Joe. That was the problem last year. You know, they've been a very competitive team over the last five years, but last year the starting pitching fell apart. Some was injury, some was regression, some was strictly decline. But that's the area of the team they've got to work on this winter. You know, signing Buxton is great. He's a gold glove defender with, with power and speed, and when he's out there, the pitching staff is better. But this move doesn't make the team better. So the, the area of the team they mm -hmm. have to address, Joe, is the pitching, and that's what they're going to work on next. With one eye on the AL Central at all times, it's what I was getting at there, Jim. Thank you for uh, fleshing that out for us here. We did a Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.